Why didn't you tell me Derek was back? What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out. Jesus, you know Derek's not well. No? No. He's sick. He always was. He's always off getting involved in someone else's fight, making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch. Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist about his family, about me! Well, tell him to be quiet. I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughingstock. A cop with a famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know, the crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not this. Not this. Uh, you got the big problem then. Me? Uh-uh. We, my friend. We. You stop it. <coughs> stop? Stop. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Just put him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lancet. Deal with him. Make him a tragedy, not a disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. I think I can make the meeting. You gotta take him out before he makes it. This is Cain and Abel stuff. I'm telling you, Chris it is. Which one of us is gonna be wandering the earth with a mark on his head, and who's gonna be six feet under, you know? This phone's running out of battery. Shit! Look after me, Nico. I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice, but neither of us has a choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. Calculating route. Please make a U-turn where safe. Please proceed to highlighting route. In 20 yards. Turn right. Calculating route. Derek, my brother! Frankie, what's this about? I've got to say, 
I'm nervous about this little meeting. Shit, when I heard you was back, I nearly shot myself. Sit down. Why didn't you call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself, real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you. You don't know the half. This is the last bit of juice I got on this thing. Nico! Ray! Take a seat. Thank you. So! You took care of that thing? Yes. I appreciate that. Hey, no, nope. I look after my friends. I got a lot of friends. Important friends. Jimmy Pegarino is a personal friend of mine. More or less. <coughs> hey, sweetheart. Hey. My God, you look like shit. What's wrong? Nothing. I haven't been to bed yet. I've been smoking crystal. You've been what? <coughs> what are you, a fucking idiot? White trash motherfucker, what is wrong with you? Give me a break, okay? I feel like death. Hey, hey, hey! What? It's because I care. You know that. Yeah, I know that. Now, speaking of the ice. Yeah, they got it. They, they left it where you said. That's why I came over here. Can I get a goddamn coffee yeah, here? Yeah, you look like you could really use some goddamn caffeine. I'm fucking coming down, asshole. I feel like death. Fine, whatever. Uh, Nico, 
Need you to go collect some garbage for me. Garbage? Yeah, you wanted a career in waste disposal, now you got one. <coughs> Can I get a goddamn copy oh, over no. here? What kind of garbage? Garbage with a lot of ice Today? in Today? Go over to F between Columbus and Denver. There'll be a truck waiting there. Three guys. Good guys. Friends of mine. Main guy's name is Luca. Go. Okay. <coughs> hey, sugar. <coughs> Come here. All oh, this'll be over soon. You gotta stop me smoking this stuff, Ray. I'm fucking killing myself. Luca? Yeah, you Nico? This is Tuna Fish and Johnny Spaz. Tuna, Johnny, Nico. Hey. So, we're all friends now. All right, Tuna, John Boy, you got the threads. Get in the back and get the trash. Come on, let's go. Nico, here's your gear. You're driving. That cool? Let's roll. First pickups in Chinatown. Let's head it. So someone's been throwing out the load of diamonds? You could say that. Ray got that tweaker chick of his, the bike abroad. You met her? Yeah, she's pretty strung out. Ray got her to get her friends to steal the ice off of some club owner guy. Her friends are the lost biker gang. I think I worked with a member of that gang up on Bowhead. He was called Johnny or uh, something. Jonah, this is it. Grab the bag. Yo, Nikki, open up the bag. Let's go! Next one's on 8th Street. Move out, Nikki. Did these bikers get so fucked or met that they threw the ice away? Nah, it seems this club owner's got more connections than a subway line. He's in with the Ancelotti's, the Dominicans up in Northwood, everybody. Ray came up with this plan to keep a bit of distance between us and the robbery. The bikers is taking the heat for this shit. This ain't the easiest way to pick this shit up, even if we don't want to attract any attention. Yeah, me and Tuna were saying that before you got here. We were saying that there's a lot of opportunities for this to go wrong. The bag could split, the diamonds could go missing real easy. That's why we're going to be extra careful, right? We wouldn't want that to happen, would we? Of course not. You know how pissed Ray would get if he found out some diamonds were missing? He has a temper. Are you fucking kidding me? The manager of one of his waste depots was holding out our profits a couple years back. Ray fed him to a dump truck. There was this point. This is the other one, Tona. Grab it. Can you open up the back, Nikki? Shit, man, looks like we got company. Crap, someone's got wise to us. Let's get the hell out of here. Drive the fish market itself. This 
truck, he's not really going to outrun anybody. Easy. You're just gonna have to do your best, ain't you? We're not losing this ice. I'm not having Ray cut my balls off because you don't think this truck's fast enough. I didn't say it was impossible. It's just going to be difficult. Holy shit! Shit, Nikki, lose these fucks. You ain't making it easy, uh... We don't want none of those bags to break, Nikki. Get us out of here, Nikki. Hey, hey, hey! You're killing me. This ain't fucking easy. Hey, you doing some good back here? Fucking hell! No more. Good driving. Now all you got to do is bring the ice home safe. This is it. You got us here, Nikki. Good driving, Nikki. I thought I was gonna be checking out for sure. How'd they find us? I thought that we went to all this trouble so no one would know. I don't know. These diamonds are serious. Anyone who heard of them would want them. I ain't surprised we got a bit of attention. You want me to take the ice to Raiden? Nah, me and Tono will look after them. Sort them out from the trash. I sure hope we ain't lost any on the route. Things got shaken up pretty good back there. They sure did, Luca. Here's hoping we can find them all. See you around, Nikki. Mother was right. You're pathetic. Luke and this crew have got the stuff, Ray. It's all in the back of the truck. Will you keep an eye on? They didn't pull nothing? I don't know, Ray. You don't trust them? Then weigh the ice. And catch you around. I'm robbing you. Don't make me kill you. Lay off me, dick! This is not my car. This is terrible! There's one less cop on the streets of Liberty City. What do you mean, Becky? I mean that my cop brother Francis McCreary is no longer with us. Like you and Jerry must be very upset. Hardly couldn't stand the bastard myself. That said, the only celebrating Jerry's gonna be able to do will be in prison. He got hauled in last night. Shit, is it serious? Charges ain't gonna stick, don't worry. Anyway, it means a lot to the family if you come to Francis' funeral. It's at the church in Suffolk today. I'll stop by, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Vigo. We can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. Hey, Kate. I am sorry to hear about your brother. You're probably the only one. He was too much of a cop for my family to accept him, and too much of a gangster to be accepted by the cops. What did you think about him? To be honest, I thought this would have happened earlier. Then again, I expect to get a call from the coroner about any one of my brothers every day. You going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kate. Goodbye.
And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, none of us are. <laughs> that is why God put us on earth and not in heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him to bear, but he was a committed family man and a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith, and that is what he did in his way. Francis gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. 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 Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. I'm uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Ma. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. Most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. Hmm. You have a strange family. Who doesn't? I don't know. Oh my God! Get the hell out of the way! Frankie's plot is in the graveyard on Colony Island, Nico. Can we put him in the ground? Shit, we lost the back doors! Don't lose my brother, too! Go easy there, Nico! You ain't no fucking match for me! us no more, Nico. Shit, I never thought I'd be on the run from some Albanian gangsters with a cop in the car. Can we call for backup or something? Are you suggesting that I'm a fucking cop? I thought that you would know better than that. No, you dumb European fuck. I met my brother, Francis. It was a joke. Hell of a fucking time to be making jokes about your dead brother. You know, I'm still not that fond of the guy, even in his death. I guess that's what turning cop will do to a fraternal relationship. I guess you've got enough brothers to hate one of them. Swiftly running out, Nico. Ain't got that many left. Now that Francis is on his way to the graveyard and Gerald is behind bars, all I got left is that smackhead Derek. You've got Katie. I could have fucking guessed you'd bring her up. I was thinking you only kept those hitmen away. All right, we're fucking here. Let's bury this bastard. Thanks, Nico. What for? Guys like you don't like cops. Being here, helping us out, I appreciate it. It's not that I don't like cops. You do what you do to get by. Cops are just regular guys trying to survive. Anyway, I'm not here for Francis. I'm here for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. 
Give me a call sometime, Nico. from me. Nico, Joe McCreary here, calling from the Albany State Correctional Facility. Hey, Jerry. I heard you've been locked up. I'm sorry to hear that. We gotta discuss something. I put you on the visitors list here. Come down. Choice to make gives me headache. I feel just like a ghost that you walk right through. I feel like a shadow. I just wanna know. 